you, dear medical personnel, with your patients, I really bring you the news of your kind. Your kind. This is the man of your kind. <laughs> is your companion. Is your health worker like you. If you see here, you doctors you see it very clearly. He's dressed fully in his uniform as a doctor. So, in fact, I'm bringing that good news to you because through him, your work as doctors is being elevated not only in the eyes of human beings but also in the eyes of God. <laughs> he has given you this vocation and he is giving you support to do it well, like he has done. This doctor was a priest, yes, but he had put his heart, whole heart, to serve the people, humankind, let me put it in more plain language. He dedicated himself to serve humankind. He didn't care about what color you had, what tribe you had, what religion you had, what other, you know, position in, in the society, whether you are a rich person or a poor person, for him, as long as you felt sick, that was where his heart was. You see here holding one of the patients, very clearly, is holding a child. There is a photo of his where he holds this child and is looking very intently, very intently at this child. And when I was looking and trying to understand what was going on between him and this child, his desire was really to see this child healed. That was his greatest <coughs> expectation and a desire to see the patient brought to him healed. I was sharing with the people, there's a man, an elderly man in Moya. His son was the one telling us what happened to his father. He got sick, very seriously sick. He was to be operated at uh, Gulu Hospital. They found it was a very complicated operation. They referred him to Mulago, the National Referral Hospital. There also the doctors examined and they found there were some complications. They said this will be taken to to Kalong, where this doctor was staying and was working. But he had worked also as a lecturer in Mulago, lecturing to the medical students, particularly those for uh, surgery. What do you call it? Okay. Surgery, yes, surgery. And besides that, he also worked to help the lepers those who are leprosy victims. Plus now those in the hospital itself. Now, when this person, the sick one was there, lying on the operation bed, he told this man, he said, man, I'm going to operate you. It will be a successful operation. He told him in advance. And after that you will heal, you will get healed. 
and you will live for many more years. And as I talk now, when the son was narrating this, that's a testimony to us. He said, his father is now 92 years old. He was operated many years ago, and he's still healthy. Very healthy. And then for your information again, just I was talking there in front of the market, there was somebody who came up. He said, Archbishop, you know, my legs were very bad. It was Dr. Ambrosoli who operated my, my, my legs. Council, doctor. Council, doctor. Yes, Council, doctor. Yes. He was the one who came just from the crowd there. As I was speaking, he came straight to me and was telling me, Archbishop, you see my leg here? This was operated by Dr. Fuzzoli. I said, lucky are you? And thanks be to God that you are still okay. He said, I'm strong. He said, okay, do it, continue. May God continue to bless you. So I have come to appraise the work, health workers provide to the sick. I want to appraise this. I want to thank you for it. I want to lift you up. May God see that what you do is according to his will, his, his desire. His desire. What was strong in this man was this. He said, God, God is love. So I must be the servant of this God who is love to the sick people, to suffering people. This was his slogan, his motive of working. Then he said, this is written in, uh, in, 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 in actually, where, where, Apart from church, but Jome will love Okolo. That is it's so intensive. Said you give me that heart to think and care for the people who are suffering for, from all over the world. <coughs> I'm sure medical superintendent, this hospital is not only for that Choli. Is it only for that Choli? No. Is it only for the people in the northern Uganda? No. no. You get people from all over. Some maybe even from Sudan. You do. Uh -huh. Some from Uganda. Those who are from Uganda, who are caught here as traders or what is so on. When they fall sick, where do they go? They come here. So you are you have an open hand and wide hands for the whole world for the whole world, for humanity, for humanity. And the last thing which he said here is very interesting. Gonya kikita, gonya kikita. Means, God, free me from selfishness. Let me never be selfish in provision of the service that is needed by anybody. 